happen Anything should happen Cause anything could If anything should happen Know that you'll be alright Know that you'll be Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel And I just thought that I needed to do another video But this video is gonna be um, my 21 week update because in a couple more days I will finally be officially five months so um without further ado we just gonna get into the video okay so I am actually um 21 weeks and six days so I'm officially almost done with my four months um I'm still in my second trimester um a couple symptoms that I had in my 21 weeks is um, I still eat a lot of um, pickles. I crave a lot of candy. Um, I eat. I really use a lot of sweets. Like I have candy in my jar. I can't. Um, the food that I can't eat, I can't eat. Um, I can eat hot dogs and all that, but I can't eat corn dogs because the breading of the corn dog makes me throw up. So I can't eat that. Um, also, um, a video of her name, so, so we're just gonna call her Baby A, because I did change her name, um, so Baby A, um, has grown so much, now that I'm 21 weeks, it says in my, um, I'm gonna look on the app, cause I use an app that I use, um, it says that my baby should be a size of a banana and weighs... 12.5 um it also said that this week your baby skin will become covered with a wax like substance called venex which will protect his or her skin from becoming scratchy or trapped your baby is also starting to produce meconium the result of digestion which will accumulate in the bowels and eventually pass through delivery on when your baby's first diaper um also so yeah um my baby is really growing like i can i know my baby's my thoughts like i don't know i think it's just pregnancy brain you i'm sure every pregnant every mom that been pregnant knows what i'm talking about like you just lose your train of thoughts a lot and you just be like okay well i was gonna do this and you just have a pregnancy for it um also what do i like i eat a lot i probably eat almost every hour on an hour but um at first when i was when i found out i was pregnant i was getting constantly headaches every four hours like i have to feed myself like you feed a baby because you know you're supposed to feed a baby every four hours once you do that you won't have all those headaches or something like you want because i used to get really really bad headaches throughout my whole second trimester and um my stepdad was like try eating every four hours so every four hours i try to eat something not it it's not even a meal like i try to eat like a snack or something and then my headaches stop hurting after a while um also in my 20 week um i experienced heartburns only like from here and then like yo like it really really hurts um i have to eat mustard when i get heartburns because that's the only thing that really really helps me from not having heartburns when i did the research on it it told me that heartburns is well how about the old tales tell you that heartburns are really for your baby is growing hair and then when i looked at my um baby bump it did say now that my baby is um should be accumulated some hair my 21 week oh um a lot of moms have been asking me when i was actually 16 weeks pregnant they've been asking me have you ever feel kicks and a lot of first time mom really doesn't feel movements because they're a first time mom so we don't feel those movements yet um, I know I am in this mom life. It's an app that you use if you're pregnant or you have kids and you just talk to a lot of moms. A lot of them was feeling their baby moves when they was like 12 weeks. And I didn't feel my baby move at 12 weeks. Um, 
I didn't find out about my gender until I was 18 weeks. So a lot of them knew their genders already and they kept asking me, oh, did you feel any flittering in there? Flittering is basically like small movements that the baby does. Um, so at the time when I was 18 weeks and 20 weeks, I didn't feel anything. But I'm 21 weeks, I feel it a lot. Um, she moves every time I eat like sweet stuff or um, I Sometimes I don't really feel her move, moving because um, usually she moves like I know the hours she used up and moving and I don't when I don't feel her I kind of like touch my stomach and see if like if she awake or anything because um, I did see something say you know touch your stomach a little bit or dance or do jumper jacks and the baby should be moving. Um, so I remember one day I didn't really feel her move the whole day. So I did that and then she moved. So being a first time mom, when you don't feel your baby moves, when you know that your baby moves every day at this certain time of the day, you get nervous. I was really nervous. I was really scared because I didn't feel it move. But I was just really wanting to make sure that my baby was okay. But um, yeah, she's very active. Um, if you guys looked on my um, gender reveal video, it's a picture, it's an ultrasound on there that she was actually doing a head. Um, and my baby is very, very active. So I know when she's arrived and get older, I'm going to have to put her in a lot of stuff because she was very active. She's still active. Um, feel her move. When I feel her move, she like changes positions all the time. And now... When I always experience back pains, my whole pregnancy, I always experience back pains. And I remember when I went to go get my ultrasound, I was telling them, like, I'm experiencing a lot of back pain. And she did the ultrasound, and she was like, it's because your baby head is literally on your back. So, being the fact that she did those headstands in my stomach, she, she's very active. Um, she moves a lot every time that I know that she's up. Um... Throughout the night, it be for something in the morning, and she's up and moving, or just moving, and I'll be up. You can feel the movements. Like, you really can feel your baby moving, and it's just so precious, and it's just so sweet. And you just like, oh, my God, like, what are you doing up? I'm trying to sleep. The first time when I felt, when I actually felt the movement, I didn't really know where it was. It was really scary. I was like, oh, my God. But then, like. I talked to my mom and I did more research and I figured that my baby was actually um, moving around. So, yeah, she does move. Um, she does move like when I'm laying down a lot. She really, really moves. She's really active when I'm moving. When I'm laying down and watching TV in the middle of the night, she moves like crazy. Um, she's also moved around 4 or 5 in the morning when it's almost time for me to get up for work. So... I, me being a mom, being a first time mom, I'm really thinking like when she's here and she's going to be up at four o'clock in the morning, you know, like I feel like when she's in my stomach at this time moving around and she's going to be up at this time in the morning. But yeah, um, another, I talked about my symptoms. I don't really have morning throw up, um, morning throw up, miss, um, sickness. All my symptoms are gone. Um, my weight gain, I gained, well, the, since the last time I've been to the doctor, I gained seven pounds. Um, when I found out, I was like 90-something pounds. So I've been really gaining my pounds, and I gained 107 pounds, so I'm really gaining my weight. So I'm just going to stop. But this is going to be my belly shot. So that is my update guys. Thank you for watching this, tuning in to this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I thank you guys so much for being patient with me with these videos. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video.